Also new this morning, the new Kensington Arnold School Board votes to bring back students to the classroom. Lisa Washington continues our live back to school team coverage with what parents need to know. Now, Lisa, they are making this decision, but there still is an option for parents, right? That's correct, Heather. So the board has voted for the classes to resume in person. The first day is August 31st, but parents do have the option to opt out for health and safety reasons, and they can do that distance learning if that's what they choose is best for their child. Again, this decision made by the New Kensington Arnold School District saying that they want to bring back all staff and students into the classroom and that they will follow some guidelines as issued by local authorities as well as for the state. Now, those include social distancing and, of course, requiring everyone to wear a face mask or a shield. The New Ken School District sent a digital survey to its families to get their thoughts about having students return to class. The district says again it will follow all of the state and local guidelines. And because Westmoreland County is currently in the green phase of reopening, that's why they voted to bring the students back to class. Now this draft plan does note that if there is a spike in the number of COVID-19 cases, that all of those in-person classes would end and the district would switch to remote learning for everyone. Not returning to the district this fall is the superintendent, Dr. John Pallone. The former state representative has been the superintendent in this district since 2012, and it's not exactly clear why he is resigning. He said it wasn't his intent to resign, nor did he have any strong feelings toward leaving the district, but circumstances have made it clear that this decision is timely. His resignation is effective this Friday, July 31st. I'm Lisa Washington, KDKA News.